Hello. So uh, today we're going to be potting this big ficus that uh, was imported from China. This is a uh, pretty large tree. It will require the use of the forklift. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to use a, uh, a strap to lift the tree and uh, get it out of this metal shipping frame which uh, it was used to ship here to the US in. Uh, when it's elevated up, we'll cut the wrapping off and when they ship them, they're shipped bare root, but they use uh, like a sphagnum moss, uh, coconut fiber type material that they pack in the root ball. And we're, we'll need to rinse all that out, clean the base of the tree, and then we'll be potting it into a bonsai pot. We've already uh, finished the three smaller trees, which we'll show you a little bit later. Uh, those were done uh, yesterday. Uh, we had a little bit of an issue with the forklift, so that's why there was a delay on uh, this tree. But uh, we're ready to go this morning on it. Uh, this tree would have left China probably about uh, two months ago. It came via ocean liner in a refrigerated cargo container. Uh, they use these metal frames just to ensure that they don't get damaged in shipping the branches. Uh, and there uh, was a little bit of damage on this limb, which we're going to zip tie together, uh, get it to uh, refuse. But uh, other than that, the tree came in good. Uh, you can see it does still have some leaves on it, some growth. Uh, there'll probably be some small new roots that are growing into the sphagnum uh, that happened during transit. Uh, it's about a two month transit time and uh, ficus recover real well from that. Uh, some of the other species have a little bit of an issue with that delayed uh, transit. Most of the smaller trees that we bring into the nursery from China I bring via air cargo. Uh, it's a lot quicker turnaround and we have a lot better recovery and a lot higher success rate but uh, these big guys obviously won't uh, fit in an airline so these come via sea. So uh, I'll uh, stop talking for now and then we'll get working on this guy and Andrea will film some of the process for you. So you can see where it's been uh, growing some new roots in transit. These uh, little guys here have sprouted in the two months that it's been wrapped up. Uh, a lot of times the trees, because they're in total darkness, they'll also push some new growth that is uh, pure white. That's a little bit uh, similar. Here's another leaf because they aren't getting any sunlight when they're in transit. So there's no uh, chlorophyll, but uh, these little roots, a lot of times they'll fall off when we're cleaning uh, because they're not too strong yet. Some of them might make it, but it'll continue to push new roots as soon as we get it potted. And this is that fiber material that they use in transit. It's, uh, it might be cocoa fiber, uh, could be sphagnum, but it's a kind of a process material that's allowed to be uh, shipped over around the base of the tree. So we're gonna start uh, cleaning that away, get the hose, and we'll be uh, getting this guy cleaned up and then he'll be going in a pot.
So we're uh, mixing up a little bit more soil. Uh, these four ficus used a lot over the past two days, but uh, this is going to end up being potted a little low in this container. Uh, this pot is a little bit big. Uh, it's definitely deeper than we need, but it's also a little bit wider. Um, but it was all I had as an alternative was a mica pot there, but that was too small. So uh, this can always be switched out later to a pot a little more appropriate next year. Uh, but for now, uh, we're going to start chop sticking in around the roots, get the soil worked in. Uh, that process will take a little while. And uh, then after we get it recut, get it all worked in there, we'll move it over under the shade of that oak tree with the other three and uh, they'll all kind of recover over there together. Uh, so that's it for now.
So I've uh, finished potting this uh, big ficus here. Uh, as I said, it's a little bit low in the container because I didn't need the extra depth. Uh, I'm going to water it in here and then we're going to move it over under the oak tree to recover with the other three. Uh, you can see there's some muck I used on the ends of some of the roots that were a little bit exposed. That's a mixture of sphagnum moss and organic potting soil. I mix that half and half by volume. That holds together very nicely here in our hot sun and uh, keeps some moisture and also protects those roots that are a little bit high from drying out. Later that'll be scraped off probably about uh, six months to a year from now you can pull that off but that'll protect those until they send some roots out. I didn't get a count on how many buckets of soil this took but I believe we poured about eight or nine in in the beginning so it's probably about 12 buckets of soil all together in here. Pretty good amount went to uh, use here potting this guy up. We also zip tied that broken branch there to mend that so that hopefully that'll fuse here later. I can actually, if it takes, I'll probably drill it, put a small screw in there so it'll be extra stability because if it survives with this dead wood in the middle, middle it'll always be a weak point. So having a screw in there to hold it together will help. And I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning, but these are all uh, ficus microcarpa, which we used to call ficus retusa. Uh, it's actually ficus microcarpa. Common name would be Chinese banyan. Um, there's other varieties of microcarpa as well. Uh, the ones that grow here in Florida we refer to as Cuban laurel. It's the same type of leaf. Obviously, they don't, we don't find them with this natural character like uh, this guy has. Uh, but this will be a ficus microcarpa, a Chinese banyan. Uh, the tiger bark is a little bit different. They have a little more pattern on the trunk, a little bit smaller leaf. A um, little bit more sought after for... These are the uh, four finished trees. We'll give you a little bit of a view of them here in a minute. Uh, they'll be staying under this dappled light of this oak tree for about uh, probably two to four weeks, depending on how quick they push. Uh, temperatures here are ideal for them to push quickly. Uh, after that, we'll move them out into full sun, get some uh, pedestals set up, and uh, have them set up where people can enjoy them. Until then, if you're local, feel free to stop by. They're up here by our garden area. You can take a look and we'll update you guys with some photos or videos. So thank you guys for watching.